Hey guys, today we get to talk about Jeremy Dezani. And Jeremy Dezani, I talked about him in a previous video where he was accused of cheating by asking the vendors what cards people were buying since he was friendly with the vendors. Now he's been disqualified for misrepresenting uh, to judges what was going on. Now, it's kind of mind boggling that if you're on the radar, and people have called you called you out, including uh, pro Magic players. Then why would you continue to? I mean, if people are looking at you, it's round eight. You're two and seven or two and five. So there's not very much to be gained by cheating or misrepresenting uh, to the judges what is going on. And you decide to do that anyway. I don't know what that says about your character because what are you hoping to achieve at two and five? And why would you want your name if you know that six months ago or four months ago people have called you out and not just people, uh, what some of the most famous magic players have called you out because essentially you went to the vendor and you asked what people were buying from the only vendor at the location of the Pro Tour and then you got that information and you still did poorly. I don't really know why you would misrepresent it to the judges but this is not his first time and I don't feel like it will be his last time doing this because if you, I mean I don't know what changes between the second and the next time uh, essentially, he knows that he's being watched very carefully. He knows that uh, people are you know, keeping an eye on him. And yet, he still got disqualified being 2-5 and five for a game that honestly did, doesn't really... I guess he could get pro points. But when you're 2-5, and five, are you really going to top 8 this event? I don't believe so. So there's very minimal upside for him. Tremendous downside, and I cannot understand the reasoning.